<laughs> I made a poop shoot. <laughs> All right, so I'll explain this a little bit. Uh, this is going to be a, so to speak, collab with JP Woodworks, so Jamie Page. Uh, Jamie's quite the prankster, and apparently if you haven't been photoshopped by him, you're not anybody until you have been photoshopped by him. So, I am hoping that um, Jamie can take it as well as he shovels it. And uh, here's a few pictures. Uh, you know, I've been stalking Zach Higgins during a live feed. Uh, I've been chased by hippos. I've been Uncle Sam. And I've also been on a wrecking ball. Uh, some of the other ones, a little more colorful. <laughs> so I'm not gonna put those up. But anyways, you know, I take a good joke, so hopefully he can take one. And to prove that I am not a total source, or location of the source of this, uh, I'm gonna turn one also. So <laughs> we'll, we'll get to uh, mixing these up. Now I'm not quite sure what color to do Jamie's. Uh, so I'm gonna do his. Y'all watch me pour it, put it together and pour it. But yeah, I, I'm gonna do mine in my colors after we do Jamie's and I'll leave links up for Jamie's page that way. And then at the end, we'll drop the video link for this collab in the end so you can follow that when you're done with what I get done doing here. If you want, you can follow over. The, the idea is for you to follow over, you know. Alrighty, so. It's been a while. <laughs> I don't even look like that anymore. Uh, been better than, I'd say, a month and a half, two months since I recorded all that. So some things have changed. We are actually going to not send this to Jamie, although I'm still going to do it, and then somebody else is going to get it. Uh, we're going to send it over to the Beard by 16. So we got his, and we're going to work on that. Right now we're going to get the one I'm working on poured with uh, some glow-in-the-dark green, sort of a nuclear road apple pudding or whatever you want to call it glow in the dark <laughs> we're going to use the thick set which is a three to one mix and it's a bit thinner and i'm hoping with the length of time it takes for this to set up that it soaks in and gets anywhere else that the wood hardener did not get into this uh recycled hay <laughs> all right so let me get this mixed up and we'll get to pouring that This stuff just sank like a rock. <laughs> How much glowing in the dark do you think we need? Yep, I think that'll work. And maybe I'll just leave it like that. I think that's good. I'm gonna get this in a pressure pot. A couple things. Later tonight, Zach Higgins Dunkin' Junk live feed. I'll post that link. And then, uh, ooh, he's look at Big Head there. The beard by 16. That's where we're gonna go to see the other half of this. So this is going to take a little bit because I'm just going to do layers. And I've got to wait just in case. We'll set it on there. I may not need that. I'm not going to pressurize this. I'm just going to leave this out. And hopefully it soaks in. This stuff takes like two or three days to uh, actually set up and cure. So I'm going to make sure that we get it over top of everything in here. And then, well, you know, the next ones I'll just show you me pouring the colors and hopefully I, I can get my stripes and we can do somewhat of a unicorn I picked a barrage of colors out that we can go with uh, you know cotton candy a bright green of course that one was glow in the dark I've got an orange purple uh, a 
a sky blue, uh, the mermaid, and I'm not sure what this one is, uh, flamingo pink, <laughs> and, and a yellow, and I think that's a red. I, I'm not sure what we're going to go with. We're just going to try to do layers, like I might tip it and get it crooked and all that so we can get different rainbow effects to it. <laughs> so you see what happened to all that powder sank like a rock I've got some sitting on it here and there and then I'm not sure why this happened I'm sure why this happened at all it didn't happen in this one as you can see no pressure no it, it did sink but most of that was absorbed but um, so uh, you can see these, these aren't really that difficult to get out there you go other than it's a little wonky so it's gonna throw it off a little bit but we'll uh, get this in the box and get it shipped over to Richard so he can turn this unicorn rainbow pool bowl poo poo bowl yeah poo but it, it also separated there for the glow in the dark and, and I put it into purple too so I don't know how how well it's gonna glow in the dark what I can do is I can go outside and I'll be right back okay well that that's where we're getting a little bit here and there and a little bit in this one Nothing, nothing overly exciting, and that was out in the sunshine. So, uh, yeah, and we got little bits uh, here and there. This is glowing a little bit. We'll see once we get it thin what it looks like. We'll get this one on a lathe. Get this one boxed up and shipped off to the UK to the beard. And yeah, let me get that on a lathe. See that, right? That's because I didn't have a negative rake on it. I hope. <laughs> Good thing it was just right there. Makes a big difference, don't it? Really not sure what's really that hard in there. Maybe just that wood hardener, but it sure is taking the edge off of those like right now. It, it may be the, the glow in the dark stuff. It's just it, it's eating the edge off of the carbide in this. And I don't want to use too much. I don't want all that blowy chippy out stuff like this and that I had in there. Because I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna fix that now next to taking it right off. Okay, so for the most part, it's pretty solid. I got a couple little air holes in it. Uh, the other problem I'm having is I'm throwing sparks, and I'm not sure it could be the glow in the dark stuff, uh, but it's it's doing a job on ruining the edges on everything. Even my bowl gouge, I get it sharp, it just flattened. Look, as you can see it, just, just flattened the end of it right off. See that? In no time at all. So uh, I'm just going to keep using a scraper. And, and try to get this smoothed out for now. Maybe a little bit of CA glue in here and that, but um, it's pretty hard actually. I'm, I'm pretty impressed other than a couple little voids. I got a little bit here, but like I can't barely touch it and it, 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 it just, I just lose the edge. And my glasses are fogging up. So I'm gonna try to get this straightened out, get these filled in, 
sand it down and then I, I cut the mortise in the bottom and, and I'm hoping that it's Richard's not having this problem because I hope it's that glow in the dark stuff which I didn't do too much of in his just a little bit hopefully he ain't having this problem All right, so I didn't know what to do with this. Uh, I just figured I'm gonna shoot some, shoot some clear lacquer on it, and we'll let her get set up after a couple of coats or so, and flip it over. 100 RPMs. <clears throat> I'll leave that set. Wow, that really changed the color of that, didn't it? <laughs> I'll let you see that before I spray the next coat. Because wow, that changed it a lot. So that coat's dry. I put a few more on. I just wanted to, <laughs> the color really popped right out when I hit that with that. Clear lacquer. Kind of like it. Nuclear pudding sour road apple bowl. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> okay, so I got her flipped over. I'm going to try to remove this before I try to get that center in there. It is wobbling a little bit, but meh, you know, 1250 in my bowl gouge. Look at that, I'm bleeding.
Alright, so as you can see, I got lots of sand in the new, but I just wanted to see how well this was going to glow in the dark. I can see quite a bit of it here. That all needs to be sanded still, but we should be able to get a good idea, anyways, how it's going to glow. A little bit. The nuclear pudding. <laughs> oh, whose bright idea was that? <laughs> Woo, the fun part. This thing has absolutely destroyed my tools. The glowing dark stuff. Really hard on tools. I, I can't. There's a lot of scratches and stuff in this. And try to fill it with it. <laughs> All right. I suppose we need to go a few more coats, and then we'll call it good. I sure hope Richard didn't have these problems. <laughs> Perfect. Got it. Oh, you guys are a little close. Get it back up. Back up. Oh, we won't back up. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh. All right, wiggle over here. Just had to make sure we squeezed everybody in, especially Andy over there. AHP spoke. <laughs> uh, hopefully, you got a sticker from Richard there, Andy. Uh, Richard, speaking of Richard, Richard. The beard by 16, uh, you go over left shoulder, right? Yeah, over there. I already did it earlier. Go over and check out the second half of this anyways. Um, oh, I got it all dusty. Ah, how about that? Uh, so anyways, uh, and it, it was a little, a little more difficult. Why, why don't I like this one? Hey. Oh, look, 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 Jake. <laughs> It's the meds, guys. It's the meds. I'm telling you, it's the meds. The meds are doing it. They're making me loopy. Ah, I, I didn't really notice it until I took it off, but there's some run. There you go. I catch them in the light. There's some runs on the inside. So I got to redo it. And, and then I need to, to polish this up a little bit. Set some overspray on it from in the chuck. But other than that, uh, the glow in the dark stuff that uh, this guy sent me, this guy right here, Richard, Mr. Wooster, that stuff is awful. I guess it's clear if you want to put it on something and just leave it that way it, that's fine but trying to turn it mm -mm. it's like sandpaper but anyways you can see it it's laying on the on the on the poo on the, on the stabilized horse poo <laughs> from my horses uh, it, it the only problem i had is that i couldn't keep my tools sharp there's some little voids here and there i used the the thick set in total boat uh, apple green with the whatever that I don't recommend using that stuff it was awful uh, and, and I'd heard it before from other people not to use that stuff or not to use a glow-in-the-dark abrasive anyway sorry or something like that <laughs> uh, so yeah I, I really don't have a whole lot to say about it it didn't really smell it didn't stink at all but I stabilized it with the wood hardener yep go over and check out Jamie also uh, I know he was supposed to do this, but this come to that and that came to this and it, it, we ended up over to uh, Richard. See this, Richard? <laughs> Richard's got his done. Uh, and you all should be able to scooch right on over to the links and see what he's done with his. Uh, I'll get some pictures up at the end. And um, I'm not sure if I can make it glow in the dark. Hang on. <laughs> ah. I mean, it does glow in the dark. Uh, it's my understanding that Richard's also glows in the dark. So he was kind of worried about what's that white stuff. <laughs> I told him, oh, hey, that glows in the dark. <laughs> so, but anyways, that's what we have for a glow in the dark bowl. I, I only did the center of it, but I suppose I should do it all. What do you think? Ooh, it's Halloween-ish type stuff. 
glow in a dark poop bowl. It looks more like a um, toxic planet when it glows in the dark. All right, let's try that. Is that a little better? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, it, it does glow in the dark. Um, I'll be back. So anyways, go check out the beard. Uh, go check out Mr. Jamie Page. JP Woodwork. And then, what else did we put on there? Uh, Duncan Junk, later tonight. Uh, 6 o'clock here. 3 o'clock, wherever Zach's at. Somewhere over there, Nevada. <laughs> so, I don't know what time it comes on where you're at, but... Um, all the resin I do... That's the man I learned it from right there. And then I just put my hands on it. Uh, I'll get some pictures up and we'll see y'all next week. You know how it goes. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Eh, whatever. It's a poop bowl. <laughs>